experiential letter writing, and I don't want to interfere with you more, but it's it's a contained psychodramatic experience that uh, minimizes uh, error, really, because it, it, we're using a chair and either an empty chair or a role player. And then the maneuvers we're using, the techniques, are uh, doubling, role reversal, and perhaps interviewing we might do. Just minimizing the techniques and falling on the simple techniques of psychodrama and using them over and over again is a nice uh, way to keep it safe, to keep it simple, to keep it safe. And in psychodrama, I've discovered with trauma, less is more, that what I look for with trauma is engagement. So I would rather not do a form of therapy that asks you to go into a false self or amp it up or any, I'd love to see just what, Helga, what you showed us, that sweet, authentic, genuine moment, to re-engage the frozen self, to re-engage the dissociated self and integrate it, and, and bring that in, into the larger self, the context of the larger self. So I, I, without further ado, I don't want to uh, get in the way of the warm-up, just we'll, we'll make the letter writing, the letter reading experiential. So. And this one? It's a letter to Howie and Jennifer. Uh, I want so much to be as connected to both of you as I, I do to your brother Peter. I've come to the realization that it is my feelings of guilt and shame that are preventing me from accomplishing a feeling of closeness with you and your children, my grandchildren. I love you all a great deal and I am so proud of your accomplishments. I also feel an enormous debt of uh, gratitude to your mother, who did such an amazingly great job of raising you and dealing with my, with me, despite the sanity of my addictions. It is now up to me to get over my feelings of shame and guilt, which I, <coughs> I feel I have no right to let go of, but I am willing to try, as I've been told that it, it is what will uh, what will I can barely say this. I know. I can barely say this. I just cave in and my chest. I don't feel I have any right to let these feelings go. This is my penance. All right. This is the least I can do. Correct that if it's wrong. No, that's the truth. It's the least I can do. I feel this is my only way of being good at this point, is to know to be repentant and penitent all the time, and ashamed. If you want to double break, come up and double in, in one of the, to the protagonist or the protagonist in the role reversal. I don't know what to say. I want, I want to love you. I want you guys to love me. It was perfect. Um, you have my heart, you have my soul, I mean, I, what? forgive me for what I didn't do, and can we move on from here? Does that, does that feel right? Perfect. Yeah, not, I want to move on. But I, I, I feel like your forgiveness you've given, yeah. I can't forgive myself. Do we need a third chair? I have trouble believing that they forgive okay. me. Okay. If, I, if I were you, I would forgive me. Again, say that again. If I were you, I wouldn't forgive me. Okay, so do we need a third chair about the part of yourself you can't forgive? Because that part is sitting right in between the children. Would that, I'm, that don't, don't, don't use it if it's not right no, for no. you. I'm just reading it from what you're saying. I think, that, I think that's it. But only if it's right for you. It's your well, I'm, just, I'm just realizing that that's what's in between them. Okay. So, no. so talk to, let's talk to yourself. When I um, think of my behaviors as you were growing up, we were close in the beginning, but in the early years, we had so much fun together, and that was my early addiction. And uh, it's kind of a fun drunk. <laughs> Then it turned. Then it turned to um, ugly stuff. 
can't see how my children can forgive you for the behaviors that you exhibited. I feel you have no right to ask for forgiveness or expect it or even want it. Correct that if it's wrong. No, that's right. That's right. I, can't, I can't say how anybody would forgive me. If, if I, I, I had trouble forgiving my father. It took me a long, long time to forgive my father for his behaviors. Mine were every bit as bad, if not worse. Reverse roles. Howie is forgiving me, but less so that Jennifer is forgiving me. I, keep, I see, see she's much more distant than Howie is. And, uh, and that's, uh, that disturbs me. <laughs> Talk to her from this continually writhing in pain role that feels it doesn't deserve forgiveness and is choosing this role over these relationships right now. I know that hurt you a lot. And I don't know why I did that. You know, well, I know why I did that. I was addicted. That the addiction was more important than anything. And that, that is so sick. That's what happened. And I'm so sorry. I don't, don't feel like I deserve I hurt you and I abandoned you and I don't know, see how you could forgive me. I understand. I, I want to forgive you, Dad, but uh, I'm so lonely. I was your, I was your little girl and, and showed so much, so much love towards me in the beginning, and then you were gone. And you were gone, you know. Uh, Mom would bring us to your house, and you'd be hung over, and I'd clean your apartment, and you just weren't there. Even with you there, you weren't there. I try to do things for you to take care of you, and it didn't work, and I feel not only I missed you, I feel kind of like I'm a failure. I didn't realize it. I didn't realize that uh, that was what I was doing. It's, it's up to you, Jennifer. If it feels right to you, pick it up. If it doesn't, let it go. It's Jennifer. What do you feel and what do you want to say to this part of your father that can't forgive himself? Dad, if, if what you're saying is, is true, that, that if you can let go of the feelings of guilt, and uh, that's what I want for you. I want you to be free to go back to loving me the way you did when I was real little. Say some more, Jennifer. Because when, when you make it like this, it's still all about you. When you can't forgive with yourself, it's still all about you. First it was about you, the drunk guy. And now it's about you, the guy who can't forgive himself. I want it to be about me, about us. So the way you can show penance is to forgive yourself and be somebody for me today. Part of me being Jennifer feels like Jennifer might come to that realization, but something is blocking her from doing that, you know, and maybe it is my... You... Or Dad's behavior that she's not getting me. You're not being Jennifer right now. I know. It's hard to be Jennifer. It, exactly. But your job right now is to be your daughter, not to be your thoughts about your daughter, your guilty projections that make all of her behavior about you. Your job right now is to be Jennifer. Dad, all I want is you to go back to being the way you were when I was a little, little girl. Because you love me so much. I knew you loved me so much. I didn't understand anything after that. Reverse roles. I just want you to be like it was when you I was little. You loved me so much. That's all I know. And that's, after that, I didn't understand anything. After that, I didn't understand anything. I want that to, I want that to be that way. 
You're still my little girl. You're still my little girl. I just don't feel I have any right to your love from here. Correct that if it's wrong. No, that's right. I don't feel like I have the right. And from here, I can't see that if I think this over and over again, I deprive you of him. I deprive you of what I don't want. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That would be sinning twice. That would be. Well. <laughs> I feel so bad about what I did that. that I can't forgive myself, you know, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. For you, I will try. If that's what you want, I will do it. If that's what it takes, I'll do anything. Even something so horrible from here is forgive myself. <laughs> Even if it means forgiving myself. And it feels hopeful. <laughs> that feels hopeful. This feels right. This feels right. This is a, a realization for me that, that that I've been holding on to the guilt and the shame, and, and that's pre preventing us from reconciling. See, this part of me is taking revenge on you two, and I don't want to do that. Oh, I certainly don't want to take revenge on No. So I, I, just, I just want to love you, that's all. <laughs> and you can love me in return. That's a good thing.